in case you've been wondering where I've been at, I, I don't really know. <laughs> I'm back today. I actually got a package sent to me by Refrigitube. I will have Refrigitube stuff linked in the description below. He messaged me on Twitter the other day and was like, hey, Ryan, would it be okay if I send you a package? And I'm like, sure. Don't say me anything too crazy, but if you want to send me something anyways, I'm not going to say no. And he did. I picked it up, up from my P.O. Box this morning. We're going to go ahead and hop in. I have no idea what's inside. For all I know, it's going to be a glitter bomb. If it's a glitter bomb, this might be a hilarious video. Don't actually send me glitter bombs. That is very big mess to clean up, and it will it will get my computer and stuff, and I won't be able to. It will break everything, so I'm going to do that. Before I hop in, I did a thing. Yep. You know what this is? I'm going to just show you on my face cam view over here. I bought uh secret wars number eight in case you guys don't know what this is this recently sold for 3.6 million dollars the original art the original art not this comic the original art that was drawn off spider-man here I, I believe just a single page was auctioned off and sold for 3.6 million dollars and this is one of the first appearances of the symbiote suit that along with uh amazing spider-man 252 which i believe came out a couple months before this uh which i still want to try to get amazing spider-man 252 at some point and then 9.8 uh, CGC. If you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you probably noticed that I have been posting a couple of comics. I got a couple of Spider-Man ones in the last couple of weeks just because, well, I like Spider-Man. And, and yeah, I don't have a box cutter. So we're just going to go ahead and hop into this using my sheer strength here. Uh, let me just go ahead and, and rip this open from this angle. And let's see what kind of goodies we got inside this mystery package. Yeah. By the way, I do want to point out that I have a lot of uh, pre-orders ready for brilliant what was it brilliant brilliant uh, the shining brilliant i think that's what it's called i forgot the new Yu-Gi-Oh, not Yu -Gi -Oh, the new pokemon tcg set that's coming out in a couple of weeks let me go get my box cutter i have returned usually i have my box cutter next to me but i literally moved it earlier which is why i wasn't ready for this video and look let's be real i'm a youtuber um if i'm not messing up let me make sure i don't actually cut something on the inside if i'm not taking three years to open a box i'm not doing it right right is that how this works okay let me make sure I hide everything. Ooh, okay. So first things first, we have a deck box and a letter. And it looks like we have some graded cards, I want to say. Put that on over here. Okay, let's see what we got. This might be fun. Well, it will be fun. Not might be fun. Let's read the letter first. I'm going to read this first and make sure there's nothing sensitive in here because you never know. <clears throat> here we go. It says, what is up? It says, what is up, Rhymesaw? Thank you for allowing me to send you this gift. I know this will be hard to read because I am a Dragon Ball fan. <laughs> he attacked me because I enjoy and consume Dragon Ball. Inside his box is four slabs from a grading company in the state I live in. Uh, the labels are some of the more recent labels they designed for the TCG. I figured you may be interested in checking them out. Also, keep up the great work on your channel. It's the reason I have a TCG opening channel and why I'm working on streaming in my own gaming channel. I aim to hit 1K subs by the end of the year. Maybe our channels will cross paths one day in a pack battle. If you're interested in checking out either my stream or my channel, I will leave it on the bottom of this letter. Again, thank you for the great content. I always feel like you just be. I always feel like you're just being you, which I am. You should always be yourself. Again, I will have his stuff linked in the description below. But there it is again. So again, thank you, chat. I appreciate that. So we'll check these out last. Let's go ahead and hop into this first. And luckily, it looks like we're not getting any. Uh, oh, this is just a deck box. So ooh, this is dope. We got, so this is actually, this, I believe this is the same art as the signed um, Goku from the Turn of Power set that I just got back as a PSA 10 like three weeks ago, two weeks ago. So I really love that art. And that's actually dope. This is a dope box. Yo. Along with that, we also have some sleeves featuring Gogeta and Vegeta in the background. Comment section below, are you team Gogeta and Vegeta? Let me know uh, where you stand with that. I'm always team Gogeta. You know me. By the way, I also want to point out, I did get some uh, Neo Rev and Neo Genesis packs. I'm going to open them in the near future. So you're going to get a vintage opening very, very soon. Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and hop in and see what we got. So these are, I believe, are a custom. It's a, it's a special custom grading company. Not like uh, PSA or T or not PSA. Uh, PSA or um, BGS. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh, TGA. I know TGA. Here we go. Let's see the first one we got. Let's kind of like cover up the score too. Oh. This is dope. I actually did not get this hit yet because I wanted to get them and uh, I never pulled them. And we got a 9.5 hit. Yo, that's cool. And this is badass. <laughs> that's awesome, dude. I love this hit. This is so cool. This is amazing from Saiyan Showdown 2021. I, I meant to get this. Uh, I was trying to pull it and then I didn't pull it. And then like, again, it was like a weird period where it was really, really hard to get boxes for stuff. So I never actually got a chance. And honestly, I forgot about it. This is so cool. Chad, I appreciate this so much. You know me. I, I love his. It's one of my favorite characters. 
hang out in the background. And a 9.5 is a really good grade too. Our next song we got, oh, Super Saiyan 4 Bardock. Actually, I believe I got this one. And I sent this off to BGS. So I got a BGS 10 of this one. And pristine 10! Let's go! This is cool. I, again, Super Saiyan 4 Bardock. Super, uh, Bardock is like, has one of the like, cool... It sounds so weird saying this. Now, Bardock has one of the coolest Saiyan designs because it's literally just Goku. But I think it's all come down to the armband and the scar on the face, which makes him a badass. So him getting Super Saiyan 4 in like the extended Dragon Ball universe and like Dragon Ball Heroes and stuff like that to me is very very badass. So I like that. Yeah, this is cool. Put you in the background. So next one we have yu -Gi -Oh. We have two Yu-Gi-Oh cards over here. Ooh, one one's Japanese, and then we got whatever this is. It's gonna pop into this. We got oh blue eyes. This is from um oh this is the Speed Duel blue eyes. And it's a nine. This is awesome. I'm one of the only people that loves this art a lot of people they hate the stone tablet art in the background for some reason i love it i've been a big fan of it i think I, look i don't care about the stone tablet in the background i just love blue eyes uh positioning in the cart because let's be real you know you got the iconic art which we only really like because it's like the the nostalgic factor the star that Ka kaiba art is not really that good but it's nostalgic and you look at that and that's basically what stands out the most the broken neck design from uh legend of blue eyes i don't really not like because it just it doesn't make sense he's like squeezed into the photo but this one really shows you like blue eyes uh features you know you, you see like the, the big roar you see the full body this is cool i don't know why people don't like this art i love it i personally love it so i appreciate it as well thank you so much all right and the final one is we got ooh toon dark magician girl i believe this is from i remember this this was from um i don't know but actually i have tried to get this before in the past and we got a 10 <laughs> yo this is awesome this is awesome. This is from the uh, millenn this is the Millennial Rail uh, from Prismatic God Box. That's what it was. Duh, obviously, because you can see like the prismatic uh, design on the front. I love the rarities that they have in Japan. You know, like being able to see all like the uh, hieroglyphics on here. This is cool. This is a badass gift, dude. I appreciate it. See, every time people send me stuff, I'm always like, don't send me anything crazy. This is definitely crazy. <laughs> Chad, I appreciate you so much. Again, if you want to check out Chad and uh, go follow his journey on content creation and gaming and also TCG openings, I'll link in the description below. But this is so cool. So yeah, also I appreciate the deck box as well. It's very, very uh, nostalgic in a way, even though this is new, but it's, it's, you know, it's Dragon Ball. Anything Dragon Ball related is always badass to me. And then we got the master UI form in the, in the front. So yeah. Okay, uh, as far as the future of this channel, I have uh, the Brilliant Stars. No, Brilliant Stars, what it's called. Not, not Shining Brilliant. Brilliant Stars set coming out very, very soon. I believe it's a couple weeks away. Uh, we're gonna open a bunch of that. I literally have like a case pre-ordered. And like I said, also stay tuned for some vintage stuff. Vintage stuff coming in the near future. It might be either next week, it might be in the next couple weeks. But we got stuff playing. Don't worry. I, I got some stuff that I want to open this channel at some point in the near future. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more. Check out chat down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.